All right, guys. My opinion on five fish or all the fish count in these tournaments. I got, I got, I got a lot of stuff to say here, so let's just jump right into it. Um, I've been a five fish guy my whole life, right? Like, like I've been fishing tournaments since I was, I don't know, like 19, 20 years old, whatever, <laughs> you know. And and that's that's all I've ever known. Two years ago, uh, well, let's let's jump into when MLF first started. We're just just a TV show, watching it on TV. All the fish count, no practice. I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, and you know, and it's something, it's something different, right? Um, fast forward to MLF becoming an actual league and, uh, and doing the, the, all the fish count thing. You know, I had fished a couple of the selects and the, all the fish count format, uh, you know, had, had some pretty good success in, in, in those few events that I fished and then, and then went to, uh, you know, being a league, and that's the whole thing. When I, you know, they offered me the job to be the commentator, and you know, instead of fishing the league, and I, you know, after going back and forth a lot about that, I decided to be, a, you know, do the commentating thing, um, which I absolutely 100% am happy I did it. I love doing the commentating thing, um, but the the all the fish count thing, like like I had I'd been a five fish guy my entire life. Like that's what I understood. That's what, you know, that's, I, I, I knew the, the strategies of the game. I knew the, you, you know, the whole thing. And so, so to have this league out there with all the fish count, um, it was a little bit weird, you know, but still it's like, I like competition and it was competition and, and, and it was, it was cool. Yeah. Fast forward to, uh, last year or what is it? Two years ago or last year when, when all the anglers voted to make the MLF, the Bass Pro Tour make it five fish and I was like you know kind of on the inside I kind of didn't say a whole lot but I was like on the inside I was like ah that's cool you know we get back to the roots and all this stuff and, and this then after commentating it for a year in the five fish format my opinion changed a little bit it did because there is not nearly as much entertainment in my opinion, because before a bunch of people start saying, oh, this, that, whatever, you gotta realize that like Chad and I are the only two people that have to sit there and watch every minute. And it's not that I'm, I love doing it, but sit there and watch every minute of every day of all of the Bass Pro Tour. And, and what I noticed is that score tracker moves a lot, which I think the score tracker is, I'll give you my opinion on all this stuff. I think score tracker is awesome. I think live scoring is absolutely awesome. I think it's the, I think it's the best thing that's, that's happened to competitive bass fishing. Um, but the score tracker, there's a lot of movement in, in period one. There's a lot of movement in the morning. Guys are catching fish and getting on there. About, and this is most tournaments. Obviously, there's outliers. You know, somebody's gonna say, "Oh, what about the, you know, Lake of the Ozarks and t whatever." There's outliers in every one, but for the most part, by about 10:30, once everybody's kind of got their, you know, most guys have their five. There's a not very much movement in in the score tracker anymore, and and, and it just doesn't like. There's just not the action anymore. You know, when, when guys are, when guys are catching fish and throwing them back and catching fish and throwing them back. And, and so there, there's not as much movement on the score tracker. And it's just, it's just to me, once again, this is just my opinion, but it, it's just not, it, it, it's not as, as, as jumpy. There's not as much stuff going on. It's not as interesting. Um, and I'm not saying that, that, that the tournament day is not as interesting because for those of you that, you know, might fish the, the Toyota series or might fish some of the other, uh, you know, events, BFLs, you know, whatever, Federation Nation, Tuesday Nighters, whatever, right? Like, I know all you guys are being a student of the game, like a student of the five fish game, and that's cool. That's super cool. So, so, so you guys are very, you tournament anglers are very interested and what's going on in that five fish deal, what's going on, you know, the strategy and, and, and you know, targeting, you know, only five bigger fish instead of a, a, a lot of fish. Um, 
And absolutely, I get your point. I get the, you don't like all the fish count because it's not helping you when you go play your game on Saturday or Tuesday night or, you know, all weekend in a two day BF, whatever. Like, I get it. Then when I talk to my buddies that are tournament anglers, that's exactly what they say. But then I've got a whole bunch of other buddies that aren't tournament anglers that are just bass fishermen. They're just dudes that love to bass fish. I do a lot of saltwater fishing. I live right here on the coast in Palm Bay. I got a, a saltwater, I do a lot of saltwater fishing. So I've got a group of guys that are saltwater guys. They love fishing. You know, that heck, they jump in my bass boat every once in a while with me and we go bass fishing. Take the saltwater guys bass fishing. They think it's cool. But they're not interested in tournaments. Most of the guys that I run into at Headwaters and Stick Marsh, Three Forks Marsh, you know, all, all the all the bass fishing places around here in Palm Bay, most of the guys I run into, they're bad, they're just they're bass fishing. They don't care about tournaments. So I think what happens is us as tournament anglers get so bottled up in this little niche that we're in. You know, like like if all the people that love bass fishing is this big, the tournament guys are like, there's like this many. Really loud boys, but they're like this many. But they want to be a student of their game. Their game is five fish. They want to be that student. The vast majority of people fishing, they just want to catch more bass. They don't five fish, who won the last tournament. They don't care, my saltwater buddies. They don't care, but like my saltwater buddies started watching the Bass Pro Tour every once in a while, just cause you know, I'm commentating, they're my buddies, they're gonna watch, right? And, and them not being tournament guys, not being, they just love fishing. Those guys like the, all the fish count. They don't understand why you would stop at five if you're not keeping them. They don't understand, like the one guy gave me the analogy of once a, 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 a basketball team makes five baskets, they don't have to make the next one from further back. And then the next one from further back than at him referencing calling. They were like, they just keep, you keep making baskets and the score keeps going, hence the score tracker. But the score keeps going up. You make two pointers, make a three pointer, you make two pointers, make a three pointer. Score keeps going. They can score 100 points, they can score 150 points. You know, and, and, and like the same with football, they can score as many touchdowns as they want. They don't have to score the next touchdown pass from further back than the one before that. And that's when it started to click in my mind. Cause I was already kind of seeing it, how much slower the action was as far as score tracker, as far as the score of the game, how much slower the action was. Because, you know, guys, until they could call, they were catching fish that didn't count, catching fish that didn't count. And that was my buddy's basketball reference. He was like, I don't understand. These guys are scoring. They're making a basket, so to speak, to use the analogy. They're making a basket and they're not getting any credit for it. And so I, I see the, and the same thing with the guys I run into at the stick marsh boat ramp, talk to them and, and, and stuff like that. And they, they the vast majority of, of people that love to fish really don't care too much about tournaments. And, and, and I'm just starting to learn this. And to me, that, that's so weird because my life has been tournament fishing since I was 18 years old or 19 years old or whatever. That's all my, so, so I've been in this little echo chamber of, you know, everybody I know is a tournament fisherman. And, 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 you know, we think the whole world of fishing revolves around tournaments and it really doesn't. So once again, I was a five fish guy, 100%. Thought five fish was the way to go in all tournaments. My opinion has changed. It really has just because of our game and, and now that I've, I've called the game under a five fish format and now we're back to all the fish count in 2024 and the, it's, the, the game keeps you more engaged because there's more stuff going on. Another thing that I've noticed too that I feel like is very entertaining in the five fish format, if a guy stunk on day one. I mean, he just stunk it up. He had, he had cow poop raining down on him. It's terrible. He's in 38th place, whatever. He had no, in a five fish limit, you have no chance. You have zero, you're done. You're done. You're going out the second day just to go through the motions. You're done. And in all the fish count format, you still have a chance. Is it a really good chance? No, but you still have a chance 
to land on a really good group of fish and run that score tracker up and, and maybe not come back and win the day, but you have a chance to actually come back, make the knockout round and move along and, and maybe actually win the event with, with still having a bad first day. You can actually do that. With a five fish limit, there's no comebacks. There's no, cause Santee Cooper, yes, you can catch a 30 pound bag or 35 pound bag in Texas lakes, but most lakes you're not gonna catch eight pounds the first day and catch a 37 pound bag the next day and come back and make it. You're not gonna do that in a five fish format. And in all the fish count format, you definitely are. Now, in my opinion, which has nothing to do with MLF or any, just my opinion, I think it should always be a two pound minimum. I think when they start doing that one eight and one four and one, like when it was a, when, when it was a one pound minimum, like the first year when we started, I definitely didn't like that because you could fish for a different class of fish. But when it's two pounds or bigger, two pounds is way more than most legal limits, minimum size limits for, for most states. Like a two pound is a 16, 17 inch fish. And there's almost nowhere in the country where a legal keeper is a 16 or 17 incher. 15 is big. Most places that I visited, a lot of places are 14 and most places are 12. So I think if they would keep it at a two pound minimum, it would be better. But anyway, that's just, that's just me. But like I said, my opinion has changed just for the amount of entertainment that the vast majority of people, not people in the tournament niche, but the vast majority of just people that just love fishing and might stumble across watching the Bass Pro Tour, I think they're going to like and understand all the goals, all the points, whatever you want to call them, all the fish count. I think they're going to, it's going to be easier to understand. Just my opinion, like I said, and, and my buddies I talk to that aren't tournament fishermen, they're just bass fishermen, just saltwater fishermen, just buddies in general. They all like the all the all all the fish count format. All my tournament buddies all like the five fish. It's just one of those things that everybody's right and nobody's right. But that's my opinion on the whole thing.